Welcome back to the CD Genomics's next generation sequencing video series. In this video, you will learn the workflow of bioinformatics analysis of 16 ribosomal RNA sequences generated by Illumina sequencing, as well as bioinformatics tools and pipelines. If you are interested in the principle and workflow of 16 SRNA sequencing, you can watch our previous video, What is 16 S Ribosomal RNA Sequencing? The workflow of bioinformatics analysis generally involves three stages, pre-processing of data, taxonomic profiling, and predictive metagenomics profiling. To begin with, raw reads need to be pre-prossed, which includes three steps, sequence assembly, quality control, and chimeras detection. If you need longer 16S ribosomal sequence, the short reads generated by Illuminum ISEC or HISEC can be assembled by tools, such as PandaSeq algorithm, after barcodes demultiplexing. At this step, the overlapping regions are aligned and scored. Alignments, such as those with high proportion of mismatches, or short alignment length, have low scores, and should be discarded. The process of quality control includes the generation of unique reads, removal of adapters, PCR primers, and low-quality bases, as well as filtering of reads with short length or low-quality scores. The removal of low-quality bases depends on the FRED quality score, also known as Q scores. Q is the output quality score for Illumina platforms. Q10 represents that one error is expected for every 10 bases. Q20 represents that one error is expected for every 100 bases, and so forth. Elimination of sequences with low quality scores can improve the accuracy of bioinformatics analyzes. Compared with shotgun sequencing, this is more significant for 16S sequencing. For 16S sequencing, it is supposed to set a quality threshold as high as possible, and to trim sequences along the entire length. A variety of tools have been developed for the quality check and reads filtering, including FastQC, Chime, Silva NGS Pipeline, BMPOS Pipeline. Chimeric sequences formed during PCR amplification of the 16S genes are a common source of 16S sequence artifacts when using mixed templates. In the process of chimera formation, an extension from an earlier cycle of PCR is aborted. The incomplete extension product then anneals to and primes DNA synthesis from an incomplete template. A chimera is thus formed. If a sequence matches to a reference sequence with similarity less than 97% and is labeled as a chimera by a chime algorithm, it is then discarded. After the pre-processing of raw data, the clefied sequences are then subjected to taxonomic profiling. Prior to taxonomic classification, bacterial 16S RNA genes are clustered by two main approaches. One is to cluster these sequences into filer types, based on their similarity to reference database. The other is to cluster sequences into operational taxonomic units, ATUs, using a 97% similarity threshold, only according to their similarity. The available reference databases for annotation of 16S RNA gene include Green Genes Database, Ribosomal Database Project, RDP, Silva, and Human Microbiome Project, HMP. After taxonomic profiling, microbial composition and diversity analysis can thus be performed. Microbial composition is a procedure to analyze microbial community structures and are often exhibited by bar charts or pie charts. Diversity analysis is performed to better evaluate microbial abundance and diversity. Alpha diversity refers to species richness within a single microbial ecosystem, and beta diversity describes the diversity in microbial community between different environments after data normalization. Auto abundance table can be further used to presume metabolic functions. Predictive metagenomics profiling is the process of understanding the role of the microbiome on host metabolism and disease. The powerful tools for predictive metagenomics profiling include PyCrust, Tax4Fun, Microbiome Analyst, and Pifillin. 
In addition to functional profiling, microbiome analyst can also be used for compositional profiling, comparative analysis, and meta-analysis. There are three bioinformatics pipelines commonly used for 16S renogene analysis, metagenome rapid annotation using subsystem technology, MGROST, quantitative insights into microbial ecology, CHIME, and MOTHER. The bioinformatics pipeline for the three tools are shown in this picture. A previous study performed by Plummer et al showed that the three tools produce comparable results and all of them can be selected to generate a reliable high level of sample composition. In the end, if you want more information about 16S ribosomal sequencing strategies or bioinformatics analysis pipeline, please visit our website, www.cd-genomics.com. We are more than happy to be of assistance.